We know Karan. Thank y'all for fucking with me on tonight. I appreciate it. All right, Karan. Karan. Hello. I'm good. All right, you back. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. You said COVID is taking motherfuckers out. Okay. It is. Like it's and look, y'all are blossoming in the midst of COVID. That's enough. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. I'm just adding ice to my drink. No, you good? Go ahead. Do you? Do you? Do you? I'm trying to look at some of these comments. Do you? Here it is. Okay, let me have a second. Matter of fact, y'all do me a favor, goddamn it, because I'm just on that type of bullshit tonight. If it's possible, please tag Bam Bam Ass in this. I want to have a conversation with him on live. Woo! I want to talk to him on live. Okay. I'm with the shit. I'm with the shit tonight. Yeah, I want to talk to him on live too. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> we can do a whole Zoom call. Come on, you're so pretty. Thank you, my love. Scott, I know. Scotty, I know you lost. I know you are, with some shit done popped off, and I just had to say my piece. I didn't know all this shit was gonna happen. Oh, damn. My God. I can see your comment there, shot boys. I don't know why it's not letting y'all see it, y'all. <laughs> David, um, do yeah. I look too close? Uh, Thank you, bro. Um, okay. Back to the top. <laughs> to the top, hold on. I'm just trying to see if I look too close or not. No, you good, you good. That's what y'all do when y'all be checking shit. That's good. Come on, production. Yeah. Um, exactly, royalty, yep. That's my fucking point. Uh, no, you good. Oh, it's good? Okay, yeah, right. I think I'm good. Shut up, Jamal. We might as well have a reunion right now. Shit, hell no. Nah. This is some ghetto shit. This is fucked up productions over here. That's professional there. It's fucked up over here. I don't think you want me to do the production. Cause from here I can see it like pretty clear. No, I know, but y'all mind the math. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Okay, let me see. Let me put it down. I don't see y'all tagging this nigga. Matter of fact, can I do? What is his name? <laughs> so dead. No, like I'm. I'm not even trying to be messy. Then I'm really trying to have a, a conversation. Honestly, because if we gonna be talking about all this shit and oh I'm a victim and all this stuff. Then come let's ha let's have the real conversations because I appreciate Imani Van Zip Van Zip I do but she was taking it easy on you tonight. Oh, you ain't ready for the real Yala Van Zip. You be ready to fight that hoe. You don't want her. You don't want her. They did an interview together tonight. Yes, and I appreciate it because I ended up learning a little bit more about Bam Bam's background that I didn't know. So it kind of helped me empathize with him a little bit more. But at the same time, you're not dealing with your shit, bro. And you sitting here calling everybody else shit out. Deal with your shit first. I guarantee you he was begging her to do an interview. Because I definitely do not think that she would reach out to him to do an interview. And I, I, no, 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 no. I take that. I think she will. Because here's the thing that I appreciate about Imani. Imani is really trying to help people. That's the same way that I am. That's one of the reasons why I review the shows. Because, yeah, I throw my shade and stuff like that. But I really be trying to put little nuggets in there to help people. Because people help me. That's all. So I appreciate what she does. So I'm sure she probably would have chosen to interview him. Hell, he's hurt. So at least you get. Hey, look, you getting prepared for the real Iyala Van Zan. Deal with this one. Did you just purposely dump it? What is going on? Oh, sorry, but it went right in the sink. Go ahead, get your life. But down. a little bit got on the counter, so I'm looking at it. Let them cleaners clean it. Clean it. Okay, cleaners. Um, child, I might have to do a fucking interview with her next because I feel like everybody's getting interviews. A real story, right? I was about to say because you know me, I have no problem talking. That would be dope. You should really think about that. That would be awesome, and that will also help her as well. So, I might have to reach out to her. That I want to do the interview because I, um. She, She's like a YouTuber. She does videos too. She like interviews people from like you know web series and stuff. What? Mm -hmm. Imani Banza. Yeah, she's amazing. Wonderful. Yanla, funny enough. You know Yanla fixed my life. Yeah. Yeah. So she y'all not tagging. That's where she got it. I think that's where it kind of came from. So let me see, Jamal and Prince. Did y'all want to come on? Because I saw y'all in the request thing. No, that's not. Oh, <laughs> If y'all want to come on, go ahead and send me a request. Yeah, absolutely. Jamal and, and, and Prince could definitely go, go on. I'm definitely going to watch. Um, I just wanted to say... Yeah. 
Shout out to Sean, you know, starting at 700 subscribers, and the niggas about to go until 5,000. Five, 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 Come on now. Fucking talk about it. Make that money. Um, I'm definitely buying some Lamage company. Jordan, really? Support. Come on Support. Um, I'm definitely going to be booking Prince to do some work too. Awesome. Um, like I said before, I'm, uh, me and you spoke. Right. Okay. Right, right. Either tonight or tomorrow about what we spoke about because right. I definitely make that happen too. Okay. And at the end of the day, I just want to say this. I am by far a liar. If I did something fucked up, I admit to it just because it's like, okay, if I fucked up and I did something crazy, my bad. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if I didn't and I have to defend my name, by all means, I will. Because like I feel like it's always been a situation. And, and one thing I hate, but I'm glad that I have the contract for mm -hmm. all, I hate when it seems like on does another season Another cast member has an issue with him because mm -hmm. Joe came out. If you ain't pissing people off, you ain't doing it right. But that's true, right? I'm about to say because Tyler Perry goes through the same thing, Oprah goes through the same thing, fucking Cardi B, Nicki Minaj—they all go through the same exact thing. So I think to myself, like, all right, so this is not nothing new. Like everyone who fucking is popular or popping goes through the same exact situation. Yes. You know, it's easy to blame the person, Mona Scott. It's easy to blame the person who's in charge. Because that's the person who will fall back on. Let me just say this real quick. If you are going to show a tryout for a show, audition for a show, whatever the case may be, be secure within yourself. Because what who you think you might be may not be what we see on television. And motherfuckers will talk about it. Right. Yo, you putting your life up there. See, you want to be popular and all this stuff, but you're not ready for the negative stuff that comes with it. And only those who deal with their shit and heal from their shit are the ones that actually win. For example, like I said, you, Karan, I done seen you many, time, uh, many times where you were like, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to quit. I'm ready to sell my camera equipment and all that stuff. Everybody gets fucking frustrated. But look at what the fuck is happening. Right. Look at what's happening. You're, you're preaching because it's, it's very true. And a lot of the times I do feel like quitting. And it's not, I promise you, it's not because of the cast members. It's just because dealing with this industry is hard as fuck. Thank you. Wait, hold on one second. I'm sorry. Bam, bam. Thank you. I'm glad that you're here. Listen, I want to have a conversation with you on this live. This is in no way to be shady. You probably don't know me or you do. You know, this whole situation can can happen however it's going to happen, depending on how your energy comes and how it is. But I want to have a conversation with you. I appreciate you going to Imani tonight. Imani did an amazing job. But in order for you to talk about you being on the Yala Van Zant, you're not ready for her. But you can work with me, and I can work with you. So if you want to, I want you to sit here, and I want you to send me a request button. And let's talk. Right. Now, if you want to read, we can. I'll I hope that's not the case. I don't want that to be the case. I'll but I want to have a conversation, though. So please, if you want to, send it to me. You're already here. You might as well go ahead and send me a request. At the end of the day, before we go into the next topic, I'm gonna say this. I, op you, I operate with a genuine heart, right? Business and personal is totally separate. Not one time I ever had it personally out for anyone on the show. Because for what? Why would I personally have an issue with anyone on the show? <laughs> Business-wise, it is my business. If Prince came to me and said, Bam Bam is like my ex's picture. I want to address him on it. It's my job to then find out, okay, where are the receipts? Where, where, where did Bam like these pictures? It is reality TV. Thank you. If Bam liked the pictures, cool. We're going to screen record this and show it so that way fans know that this actually happened. So then when they talk about it, they know what's going on. Right. I know that Bam is watching. Bam, first of all, the fake screenshots, my nigga, the 200... I never, ever asked you for $200. And that shit, like, for real, 
that's crazy to me how you would make some shit up and make it seem like I would ever ask you for money all because of the whole situation with Xavier that was a joke from my friends. I'm not mad by any means, I am blessed. I have my boyfriend, I have money that I am making, I have a show that is successful. By all means, I am not mad at you, sweetheart. Do whatever you do. If you wanna sit online all day and talk about this shit 20 times a day, that is your business. It's not gonna get you paid from anything, but if you wanna go on and talk about this show 20 times a day, by all means, because I've been getting followers out the ass from this situation. So it's actually helping me. It's not hurting me at all. Right. Right. Understand. Bam is the person who came to me and said, I would never go on live. I would call you first or text you first if I had an issue with you. I would never go on live and bash you like the niggas did in season three of the come up New York. Right. Because tacky. So if you're calling that tacky, then what are you saying about yourself right now? Mm -hmm. You have my you have my number. You could have called me. Karan, I feel like you're editing me out. Karan, I feel like you should have never did that thing with me in print. But that happened months ago. Exactly. The whole lie about, oh, we just met each other in April. My nigga, we met each other in January. Mm. I, I have the picture of when I took the picture of them signing the contract. Let's not lie. Not one time did I come out and spill some tea until this nigga's been online for a month talking about me. Mm. Now I replied. And now it's a situation. No one even knew what was going on. Every single time it was an interview, it was what, 30, 50 views. Now that I do an interview, his interview goes up to 2,000, 3,000 views. My mm. 5,000 views. Think about it. Yeah. I never wanted to give it any light because I have the bigger following. So if I respond, all of the fans are going to start following the story. Exactly. If I don't respond, no one knows what's going on. Exactly. So it's about, it's, it's the fact of respect. Call me. Same, even though I don't fuck with Xavier, same way Xavier called me first before any of that came out, he called me first. Hey, I want to talk to you privately before any of this came out. We spoke about it. Xavier got influenced and started riding with them and started going on social media. But we, me and Xavier already squashed it. Mm -hmm. Prince, me and Prince, I kid you not, me and Prince had a conversation on the phone. Because Prince, when Prince, when I was putting together the trailer, I said, Prince, I need you to do something for me. I need you to say this so I can add it to the trailer. Prince said, I just feel like it's going to make me look like a cheater if I'm talking with Sean and I'm dealing with my boyfriend at the same time. I said, Prince, when people see the show, they're going to they're gonna know the timeline. All I need is for you to do this, and I promise you, none of that's going to happen. Same thing with Xavier. I said, just for the show, this is how it's going to look for the views, but then when the show comes out, they'll see how it plays out. Yeah. You would think Xavier would be smart enough to, to do the same thing Prince did. Call me, talk about it, we squashed it. What happened? When the show came out, they seen that Prince ended his relationship and got with Sean later on. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. think people would be smart enough to just wait and be like, okay, I'm just going to wait. Prince called me right then and there. We had a conversation. Not one time did Prince go on live and bash me. Sean dealt with a horrible, dramatic, sensitive situation later on this season. Okay. That had to do with his father. Out of respect, mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about it. When you guys see it, you'll see it. Right. He dealt with that situation. Did Sean want to talk about it on camera? Hell no. Did Sean want to cry on camera? Hell no. For the show, this is his, re his reality. Sean, out of respect, I know what you're going through, but can you talk about it on camera? Do you think that that's something that you can talk about? Mm -hmm. Sean, I ain't going to cry. You know, Sean, I ain't going to cry on camera, child, but we'll talk about it. He talked about it on camera. He ended up crying, but it's something that was real. Right. Jamal went the whole, through the whole situation of having to downsize mm -hmm. and go into a studio apartment. His floor is busted open. You think Jamal called me and was like, what the fuck, bitch? You're really going to show that on camera? Jamal was like, no, this is my reality. Like, fuck it. Like, this is what... Miles being a cam model. You think Miles called me and was like, damn, you got me looking like a slut on camera? No, Miles was like, bitch, this is what the fuck it is. It's reality. This is what you're showing. I get it. Business. All of them, business. They get it. And that's the reason why they're getting paid. That's the reason why they're getting free promo from Gemini Films. Because they get it. Mm. Get it. Wow. The people who are doing too much and acting an ass, and not only to say that, but like, 
you're saying all of this, but people aren't fucking with you. I can understand if you are gaining a lot of fans, but people aren't fucking with you because of this. It's making you look bad. It's not making you look good. Right. That's all I gotta say about that. Like I'm, I'm when I tell you, this is honestly the last time I'm talking about this situation. I have the come up Atlanta coming out. I have Bad Boys Club coming out. I'm not. I kid you not. I'm not talking about this anymore. I just I fuck with you, and I want my followers to follow you and fuck with you. And you know, Thank you. and they're gonna follow you. You're getting paid. I fuck with you. Thank you. Thank you. Hard work that you put in. And I fuck So me and you will continue talking tomorrow about that. But anyone who is smart will understand. If I fucked up, I have no problem admitting it in person or online. If I'm not lying about something, I'm not going to entertain it. So at the end of the day, shout out to those girls. I hope nothing but peace and blessing and and, and literally po positive energy because I'm happy in my life right now. Exactly. And we see it. Yeah. We see it. And, and I got my teeth done. That's, I wanted my teeth done since I was like 15, 14 years old. Since I was I just, and I got mm -hmm. I'm good. <laughs> and you manifest some stuff. And that's why I appreciate you and what you do. And let me tell you something. If you just learn to support people and actually love yourself, it would connect you to some boss ass people. It will connect you to some dope ass people. How in the hell are you gonna love anybody else? Right. And just, exactly. This situation yes, this situation will be talked about at the reunion for a little bit. Right. Because Bam and Jovere are not coming to the reunion, and by chance I don't want them to it's fine. They don't have to come to the reunion at all. That is totally fine. And the contract is safe that if you don't come to the reunion, I can fine you up to two thousand dollars. I can use four thousand dollars. You gonna pay? I'll get the body, right? <laughs> I'll get the body. I'll get y'all. I'll get the body that I want. Trust me, that's fine. That is fine. That's the reason why I'm not tripping about that. And and this is no well, this is no shade, but it's true. Jamarcus too. That's six thousand dollars right there, right? I'll get my body done. And don't even have to talk. About it. <laughs> so, if you, right, if you want, definitely bring them on. I'm about to eat some pizza and I'm about to hang with my friend. Um, but I do support you, uh, Bubs, of course. And Thank I would talk about it tomorrow. Um, keep doing your thing. Shout out to Prince. Shout out to Sean. Shout out to uh, Miles. Shout out to Lamage. Keep doing your thing. Check out the Come Up New York. The after show with Lamage drops tomorrow. And I'm going to put out some sneak peeks this week. So awesome. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. And yeah, we out of here. All right. Thank you, Karan. I appreciate it. Enjoy your night. All right, y'all. Listen, appreciate Karan for that. Bam Bam, if you're still here, that invitation is still open. If you want to talk, we can. Because let me tell you how important your story is to the come up. Is your storyline important? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why it's important. Because while there are people flourishing and thriving and all that, there got to be somebody who's going through some shit. And see, the reason why God ain't put your ass on no shit on prime television is because your ego is not ready for that at all. You talking about ready to fight somebody. You saying about ready to kill somebody. And y'all of Van Zant will laugh in your face, tell your ass to sit down and dare you to raise your damn hand at her. What did she say? Once again, say it with me, y'all. You don't get to speak to me ever again. But once again, God's grace and mercy covered you because you were able to be interviewed by a Iyala Van Zant impersonator. Once again, shout out to Imani. Shout out to her. I appreciate you. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Bam, bam, we here. We here. Is there any way? Let me see. Let me click on this. No, I don't see a request. And I know you saying you ain't got to talk to me or whatever the case may be. Look, bitch, you need somebody to talk to. And I know you are driving Miles' ears fucking crazy. I'm pretty sure that... That Miles' house looks like a goddamn cave with rocks and gemstones and shit because your energy when you come in is just, oh my God. Bitch, let's talk outside. Can we talk on the patio? He take your ass right on out to the patio. Bitch, you not sitting on my goddamn couch. Bitch, you not sitting in this goddamn house. Now, who is this? Who's Who wants to come in? Let's see. Because I'm with the shit tonight, fuck it. Let me go ahead and get Jamal real quick. Come on, Jamal. If you're ready, because you, you sent me the request, so I'm about to, to click it. You said, ask hey, Scotty. Scotty got to send me another um invite. Y'all? Um, I'm stressed out, y'all, because I've been working all day. Let me tell y'all, before we even get into any of this, okay? Before we even get into any of this, 
head on over to lamashcompany.com and subscribe to the um, newsletter. Tomorrow, my my new holiday collection is dropping, okay? Y'all need an ugly sweater out this bitch. Maybe even a cashmere patch me and a scarf, okay? Maybe. Get on in there, okay? Head yes, for the, the what would they call it? Uh, curtain? Curtain? Yeah. Stuff. Yes, for the curtains. Yeah, for the curtains, okay? The, the curtains, curtains, baby. The curtains. Tis Niggas buy curtains, God. Yes, for the curtains. If y'all want to go right on over there and subscribe to the www.lamagecompany.com, baby. I got a lot of stuff that I'm about to drop tomorrow. I also did a whole, whole little home decor because, you know, I got a lot going on. I got a little Christmas party. I'm trying to, um, you know, a little ugly sweater. So that's what I was doing. But um, the media is on fire tonight, isn't it? I Listen, I was not expecting this. I just... You you lives. you got uh, you got all the heavy hitters on your live tonight, uh, don't and you? I'm over here tripping because I'm like, what? But see, I'm grateful for this because mm -hmm. this is what I want to do. I want to have conversations. Like I gave mm -hmm. an invite to Bam. Bam don't want to talk. Like this is what we. This is what usually or a lot of times the viewers want. They want to get to know you personally. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you know me, Terrence, goddamn Scotty, Obey Turbo, Aaron, mm -hmm. all the other ones that slip my mind right now. El Teddy, all well, no, not El Teddy. But they review the shows and stuff like that. Like, we are grateful for y'all opening yourselves up and mm -hmm. allowing us to... to we appreciate y'all reviewing it. Like, we honestly do. But we, we just make want to make sure that every, all the viewers, the people that's reviewing it, their eyes are open. No shade to anybody on this cast, on that other side. Like, I'm, I'm over the whole... I'm over this. I'm over it. Like, I'm just over the whole lies and deceits and everything that is... Um, Labbergasted for the show, like I'm over it. Like I'm completely over it. Like Karan said, it. Let's stop. If we're gonna talk about it, let's talk facts, okay? Yes. Like like y'all said, he. I'm sorry. Like you're doing the most talking on all. Uh oh. Sorry, y'all doing the most talking with, and I'm just flabbergasted. Like you're doing the most talking to all these different um platforms about us and not even talking about what you are involved with. Do you see how I got on here before we even get into it? Go ahead over to LamageCompany.com and subscribe. And because uh, I have got um, the new collection that's about to drop tomorrow on the website. Also, 20% off. And y'all can definitely use the 20% off code HOLIDAY20 um, at checkout, okay? That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing over here. We're not, we, we get on interviews with y'all and we're talking about what we're doing and about our come up. And right, what, right. We're, what we're focused on doing. That's what we got on the platform to do. We got on the platform to show the world the platform that Quran has created for us. Because when my interview drops with him tomorrow, y'all going to see the real fact. Make sure y'all watch. And talk about that. Seriously, subscribe to my man's, um, to my man's um, the YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Seriously, y'all going to see me and him get into some real things. And this is like a genuine conversation between me and my friends. Like, yes, I slid into Karan's DMs and said, we should do this. I did. I did. I slid into it. We should do this. And I, for a whole year straight, I said it. From 2019, it was January 19, 2019, when I sent the first <laughs> message. I said, listen, let's do Miami. I got a lot going on. And if you can bring a cast together, then we can get into it. Three months went past until September. Well, till um. Sean invited him down like he said. He invited him on his spring break and let's have a good time. Oh, you coming to Miami? Oh, let's link up. Let's link up. Let's do this. So that's how all of this got started. So let's not sit here and say, let's not sit here and say, oh, this platform is fake. It's a joke. My man is literally working in his come up. Yes, he probably had a friend hold a camera. Yes, he probably did. Yes, he probably did. Who did? He helped my. He used my car to go film sometimes. Like I'm, a, I'm a friend. Those are I, just friends support. helping friends. Exactly. You so, know, everybody ain't an asshole out here. Everybody ain't trying to fuck your man, bitch. Like there are niggas no. out here who genuinely want to be your damn friend, who exactly. have connections. Exactly. Who help me, I help you. And please don't talk about all oh, the weasel in here. No, honey, I had nothing yeah, to about do with. Uh, no, no, talk about the weasel, me and Sean in here. No, honey. No, oh God, my mom is on here. Mom, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Mom, hey, we'll mom, what's later. going on? Yeah. <laughs> yes. We just talking yes. about your son's come up and how he's doing wonderful, amazing things despite oh the trials God. and tribulations that is here, in his my life. Mom's on here. But um, but yeah, we're talking about. Let's not talk about oh weasels. Oh, they we run back and talk to Quran. 
trust me, once we were done filming, me, Karan, and Sean never talked about the episode, like what was going on in the show. We never did. We never talked about, we never told Sean, we never told Karan to, oh, do this, edit us this way, or they said this, they said that. We don't get into it, sweetheart. Exactly. We don't get into that. We don't get into that. We do not sit here and care about other people's storyline but ourselves, baby. By ourselves. We don't do that. We did, we never did it. We don't care for it. And trust and trust and believe, let's be honest. We don't care that much about you. Yeah. That's true. We don't. Everybody who actually supports each other, they're naturally coming together. Y'all helping each other. Hell, you and Sean's friendship is so fucking genuine. Like you said, you've known this nigga for a while. We barely felt like we was filming. That's how, that's literally how it was. We barely felt like we was filming because we act just like that. We that's just how we are, the chemistry. But when when people come around that's not used to it or intimidated or insecure or have their insecurities, oh of course you're gonna have these things. Yeah. You're gonna have these comments, you're gonna have these conspiracies come up or oh we did this, we did that. Oh, you know they always gonna come at the people that got the most going on. Right. You know they are. They're gonna come at the ones that got the most going on. So it's just like no shade to anybody, Joe Bear, Xavier, Bam. No shade to them. Find some business. That's it. Like we're not we're not talking about y'all in every interview. We're not. The whole interview is not about us, and we're not sitting here throwing digs at you either. Like you like you just literally sat on that live because they sent it to me too with that lady, and you just dig that me and Sean and how my looks and X, Y, and Z. You calling black people roaches? Oh, I look like this. You referring to people. You're a Latino man and you're sitting here talking about black people looking like roaches because you referred to me as a roach plenty of times. You said it. Oh, my gums is this and my gums is that. Such and such and such and such and such and such and such. You really have some really negative insecurities that you have to work on because I don't care. These gums made 7,000 during, um, during um, Corona. Trust me. These gums made 7,000. These gums just made this ugly sweater from scratch. <laughs> um, yeah, this, these are some talented gums over here, baby. Very, very talented. One thing you cannot take from me is my confidence and my talent. You cannot. Exactly. You'll never be able to take that from me. So you may see something in me that you wish you had. Yeah, and that's the thing. He can have it, but because he's living in the past, he'll never get it. That's the issue that I have with Bam. That's like, the issue. Now, listen, y'all might have your own. Well, of course, the personal stuff. But the issue I have with him is that. That's why I want to talk to him. And you know how easy it would be to just sit here and completely read him? Like, it'll be so easy. It is so it's, easy. It's, it's you it's have I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of you attacking me and Sean's looks as if you could talk. But I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. I don't want to attack your looks. I don't, because that's a, that's a negative person. That's a bad-hearted person. That's somebody that's not even confident about yourself. But you want to sit here and talk about my looks, my teeth, my this. You can't, you got anything else, baby, because I'm six, no, I'm six that's one. It. I'm that's six it. one and I'm tall, baby, full of talent, baby, that I, that's confident as, you, as high as my cheekbones, baby. You want to talk about me? Go ahead and talk about me. Because if, when I dig on you, it's, I'm going to be, <gasps> my God. Oh my God. Yeah, I didn't really talk because I had a business. I really had businesses to protect and I still have businesses to protect. But I got a mouth on me. I do. And I can walk the walk and talk the talk. I can do all of that. I can do it all. So if you're still on this live, I encourage you to come on. Keep talking. Keep talking about us. But bro, you just get you just having us clout. You just giving us clout. Like you just giving and us And you are continuously exposing the insecurity within yourself. That's it. You're making yourself look stupid. But because you hurt and you're a victim, it shouldn't matter because I'm the victim, I am the victim. Well, guess what? There are two different types of people in this world. Individuals who are victims, and individuals who are victorious over their victimhood. Which one? That's up to you. Mm -hmm. I just want you we to get see some what help. You're choosing. That's it, I want you to get some help because you was on that live crying about what happened. And I understand, and I, like if my mom is still on here, mom, I, need, I might have to buy you a ticket for this reunion because he needs a mom hug. He do. He needs a mom hug. That's it. I love my, my mom's hugs. Jamal, it's gonna be okay. I didn't have I, I didn't have the upbringing that he had. I was very fortunate. I was very, 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 very fortunate. Same here. I was Same very here. fortunate. My family accepted me, but they sheltered me a lot because they knew what I was gonna go through in this world. Like they exactly. sheltered me a lot. So, oh, you're gonna be a gay man? Oh, okay. 
um, well, you can't go out, you can't do this X, Y, Z, blah, 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 until you get yourself comfortable, until you do this, until you get that. Yeah, my mom protected me for that. Like, no, you need a mom hug. Need, um, a whole mom hug. Exactly. Simple as that. So it's okay. Let it all go. I'm sorry, or such and such. But all that hurt that you harboring, that you just attacking other people, is just not a good look on you, bruh. It's not. You just attack, attack, attack. Karong this, Sean that, Jamal. And I'm just sitting here like, girl, I ain't got that much. I ain't got that much energy to keep trying to attack. I, I don't know. Like, I, that's why I'm grateful for this show because this show shows many different sides of people and people in the gay community. And there is a big issue with insecurity within the gay community. And yeah. we sit here and get mad. Oh, I don't like how gays are being portrayed. Listen, art imitates life. Life imitates art. Don't get mad when you see how you really are portrayed to you in a way that you don't like. You have to change it. You don't sit here and blame other people. And it's so crazy fuck around. Karan, it's, mm -hmm. it's crazy because Karan kept saying, Jamal, I honestly think you and Van would be friends. Karan kept saying that in the beginning of the season. I think you and Van were like, I thought y'all was going to connect. I thought y'all was going to connect. And I was just like, you thought I was going to connect? Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm like, he was like, I thought, like, listen, I, I'm, why, I'm like, well, why did you think? He said, because Jamal, you're like, an adult, like, you look past different things. I said, yeah, I tried to look past it, but once it started getting ridiculous, oh, I'm good off that. That's the energy that I can't, I can't, I can't fix. Like, no, I'm good off that. No, no, no. So, Karan even said that. And I was just like, you don't see that hurt that he got built up? That's, that's bigger than me. Mm -hmm. That's bigger than me. That's bigger than me. So, yeah. And you ran uh, some of his comments. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was saying that's true. I did say that y'all that y'all was gonna be cool. Yeah, come on, you said it. But I mean it didn't it didn't fan out that way. Like and it, and it, didn't, it didn't have to be that way either. Yeah, it didn't have to be that way. And, and in my head, I'm I, we yes, we will never be cool. We don't run in the same circles. I don't see I don't I'm not having no ponderosa at the reunion. I'm not doing any of that. Like I said, I'm just I'm, I'm just that's not what I'm going to do. So the reunion, you're gonna see me talking about the issues. If it's presented to me and asked right. a question to me, but other than that, I got nothing for that crew over there. Right. Period. I got nothing for you. Well, I got I hope nothing. Y'all ready? Because you know, goddamn well, they gonna ask that damn question at the reunion. So I know they are. Prepare no, yourself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it nice and short and sweet. Um, yeah, that was that, and I know it was that deep. I got nothing else. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. Yes, but like I said, everybody head over to LamageCompany.com and get on that mailing list. You know, get on that mailing list or whatever because the new holiday collection is going to be dropping tomorrow and y'all can get 20, enjoy 20% off holiday 20 um, once y'all sign up for the um, new mailing list. I'll be a whole new bitch tomorrow and get my head done too. But yes, definitely head over to LamageCompany.com. Let me show y'all a little sneak peek. I mean, you know, I'm getting ready for the photo shoots or whatever the case may be. So, you know, tis oh ugly. God. Do y'all understand that? Tis ugly. You know, tis the season. This is tis is ugly. <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yes, Ooh. this is company. You know, it's Tammy Roman over here. Please we support. Are, support bio so shit. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, oh what did you say? What did you say? I said, come on, support by. Yeah. Did you go? black businesses. There you go. There you go. Support black businesses. Uh, follow my guy, Bugs. You know, he had the live. It's 1.30, y'all. I like to be up at 6 to work out. Ooh. It's a mess. Like, you got us all the way live this Don't late, worry. Bugs. I'm going to let, let y'all go because I didn't know my live was going to be popping like that. I want to talk to Bam and Bam ain't going to talk then. I'm going to well, be doing I mean, hey. I don't know. I wish he does talk and, like, come to somebody with their own mind because and not somebody that's just on the outside looking in that's going to agree with him. Come to somebody that's going to tell you when you're wrong. Because that's one thing that I do about... Um, I'm going to be... I'm going to be that's um, one thing that I do to Sean and everybody on his cast. I'm with you when you're right and I'm with you when you're wrong. I'm that friend that's going to say, well, no, you were wrong. You need to chill right. out. You need to do this and you need to do that. And this is my opinion and I'm going to stand up for it. That's why everybody likes Miles. Because Miles is the... the hello? No, He's talking on his wrong. live. Bam, bam! Don't talk on your live. Come talk. To Come me. on this live. Come on this live. It's oh. easy for you to control the narrative over there. I'm just trying Girl. to verify some shit. So if that's the case, come talk to me. Girl, 
Now, if I go on your stuff and you end up saying a whole bunch of shit, then it's going to be a different situation. Because if you want to do that, we can. And trust me, the shit I'll say, I'll have your goddamn... Oh, let me not say that. Child, I ain't got nothing to do with that, y'all. I ain't that. got nothing to do with that. People that want to clear their mind, clear their thing, they don't talk to other people. They just will sit here. I'll no, 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 no. Listen, don't, do not listen. Do not go over there and harass him. Do yeah, not. Oh, I'm not doing that. No, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about some people in the live saying they're going over there. Don't no. go over there. Don't I, Listen. The mm -hmm. fact that he's willing to talk about me on his live and not talk to me on this live, mono, there you mono, go. That's there you go. I already you see how had, insecure you are. You done had three cast members over here that said, "Come on, come on the live. Let's talk. Let's have a conversation." But yeah, no, you, I, you I, over there and do your own thing. Go ahead. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. You too. Okay. Cool. We good. Listen. Don't go the fuck over there trying to antagonize him. Don't do that. Don't do that. See, I'm I'm secure within myself, and I love myself, and I love myself enough to offer an invitation of love to Bam Bam's ass. But see, the reason why my delivery is the way that it is is because your level of ego is thick as hell. Come talk to me. You don't know me. You don't. Well, bitch, I know a little bit about you. So let's talk about the little bit that we know. Cause you're over here talking shit, but you ain't got no facts. You don't. So what are we doing, bro?